Good evening from Eastwood City. This is by far one of my most requested destinations here in the Metro Manila area. So Eastwood City has been described to me as the San Francisco of the Philippines. And I'm very excited to explore this area here, get some good food, have a drink, see what's around here. So yeah, just got dropped off in my grab here and I can already tell that this is indeed a massive business district, which is also what Eastwood City is. It is a business district that has been described as kind of like the San Francisco. And, um, you know, I have to say, as I kind of was just coming in here, there's a really nice sort of charm and vibe to this area. I have been to San Francisco before, and um, you can see how everything is sort of like I don't know, how do you say it? Like, um, I would say, I'm trying to say clean, but depending on where you are in San Francisco, that is actually not the case. But this is clean, this is clean. So we have some uh, music here playing, so I can't get that in, but yeah. The point being is this looks very Western, doesn't it? There are places to sit outside. I will certainly be sitting outside and having a drink today. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. This actually looks like a great spot for it, but I was, I was coming in here, there seems to be like um, a whole network of restaurants here. Yeah, look over here, look over here, guys. So let's keep uh, walking here. If I can avoid the music, that would be great. But I actually missed this part on the way in here. And uh, yeah, I am so excited to be exploring Eastwood City with you all today, but um, Gosh, how do you describe this? It does kind of feel like San Francisco in a way. But take a look at these lanterns here. And this is what I saw on the way in here. Like really pristine, nice walkways. And oh, I see, I see. Okay, so you see the Hollywood signs here. So San Francisco is actually not close to Hollywood, but um, this is very Hollywood-esque. So you can see Eastwood City, Walk of Fame, Philippines. I see, I see, I see, I see you guys. So maybe we could just say this is the California of the Philippines. All right, the LA California, LA San Francisco vibe here. I see. All right, well, I am even more excited to explore. I have been to LA, have been to San Francisco. I've been a bunch of places in California. And uh, I will tell you, I wish San Francisco was this clean, but uh, that is uh, what San Francisco used to be. Anyway, wow, look at these uh, light color changing, I don't know what do you call them, balloons? Ah, this is cool. We have so many cool shops here and I guess there are some independent vendors here. This is the Eastwood City of Music. Ah, okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hello, thank you. Oh, all right, Super Bowl of China. That is interesting. Notice that it is Super Space Bowl, as in, a large size bowl, not the Super Bowl. Huh. I'm sure there's some licensing stuff going on there. But uh, anyway, uh, Popeyes. Oh, you have to be joking. You have to be joking. So look at this, the walk away. Dr. Jose Perez. Hey. Wow. Well, let's see if there are other city walks here. Or there's another part of the city walk here. I think I did see on the map a pizza spot. It's been a while since I've had pizza, I think. No, it doesn't matter. I might get a pizza today, because you guys know I like to rate pizzas all over Southeast Asia, and it's been a while. So let me get myself oriented here. All right, well, let's see what the, uh, what's in here. So I guess this is all a part of the uh, city walk. So. Oh, you can see. Wow, oh, this is a... Uh, Okay, I keep wanting to feel like this is very European to me. But I know I also see the 
like uh, hmm, I also see the reference to San Francisco in LA. I do see it, I do see it. So, this is the once past LA and San Francisco. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can just Google or you can just YouTube San Francisco 2023 and uh, you'll see what I say, what I'm saying. But yeah. So we've got this Black Scoop Cafe. I've seen that in a few places. Army Navy is a great place if you want like a burger and some really Western food. We've got a Zach's Burger here as well. Let's see what's outside here because I do want to see kind of the big city vibes. I have been told that this is a big city vibe and one of the biggest, most sprawling business districts here in the Metro Manila area, along with places like Makati and Ortigas. And the list goes on. So, kind of just following the Star, star Walk here. Well, Eastwood kind of, it looks like a loop, right? It looks like it's like a big loop. So I think we will walk the loop and uh, yeah, see what we get into here. We're just kind of over here walking around, but I'm really trying to avoid going into a mall if I don't have to. This looks nice. Eastwood Richmond, Richmondade or Richmondade? I don't know, Richmond? Hotel. Oh, there's the Eastwood Mall. We might have to go check it out. I mean, we'll see. I hit a mall in just about every video. So, you can definitely see how there's a lot going on. You see the, the skyscrapers here, all the way up, all these uh, buildings here. Yeah. But there's a, gosh, what is the term? What is the term? It's not clean. It's manicured. You know, it's manicured. Yeah, yeah. Like you can see the nice landscaping here. Uh, but it's a big city, right? So you got the nice landscaping, you got the greenery, and uh, it's a very manicured place that feels good to walk around. It's a clean, well-kept space. Yeah, I think that's that's what I'm looking for in describing this. It does look like there is a pretty active bus situation here. I am curious to see like how big Eastwood City actually is. Is it just this loop here or is it much bigger? I am curious. So yeah here so we've got okay it seems like we've got a lot here going on. So City Walk McDo, Cyber Mall. We've got another stray cat here. I've got a stray cat in every one of my videos so far. For sure. So I believe we are still in Quezon and I actually just got done checking out the uh, University of Philippines Diliman, well, UP Diliman. And so that was my first time at a Filipino university and that was so nice, so nice there, which is also in the heart of Quezon. And this I still believe is Quezon. Oh, you can just see how nice this is here. You can see the mural Eastwood City. Oh, that's really well done. Eastwood Mall. We might dip in there. And this is part of the Mega World products or project or whatever you want to call it. See, you got a parish here up the road and then Eastwood Mall, Eastwood Open Park and City Walk 1 and 2. Where is the Eastwood Open Park? I definitely want to see that. Okay, I think we will get to it. I think we will get to it. I think people waiting for the bus here. Okay, so I think, didn't I just walk? So I think you can just walk. I don't know why you wouldn't just walk. Maybe when the rain is happening or it's just extremely hot. I don't know. We're gonna walk the loop. Maybe it'd be fun to get on the bus. Okay, let's see here. There's the bus. So, is this, uh, this is the bus right there. I don't know where that takes you. Kubaro. TSC, Kubaro TSC. Oh, our native city. Okay, I've been there, I've been there. We don't want to go there right now. I've already been there. 
But I think I'll take this opportunity to cross maybe? No, 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 no. I'm gonna keep walking. But uh, I've explored Aranata City before. Hopefully I'll stick around here as it starts to get dark. Do plan on spending my evening here. But you can see, the, I'm sure the lights really look nice here. There seems to be strung up lights throughout this whole part of Eastwood City. I think we'll take this opportunity to cross now. You know what? I think what I will do is I will get a water. I need more water. So let's dip in here and get a water. Hello. Okay. Let's see here. Grab one of these. Yeah. Let's see what is in this, ter this open terrace here. If you ever get a chance to come to the Philippines, definitely go to Bread Talk, which is right here, and get the, uh, it's like a sweet bread or a sugar, sugar roll, I think is what it is. It's literally just like a normal roll that has sugar sprinkled on it. Oh man, is it good, it is so good. I'm tempted to get one now, but I can't, I'm gonna eat some, some later. Looks like you've got mall over here, buildings over here, but then we've got like an open walkway or a terrace here. Oh boy, this is nice. Boy, I'll tell you what, I've really been taking your recommendations here uh, in the comment section seriously. And a lot of these places that you guys are recommending to me, it's like, they are so nice, man. They are so nice. Manila has so many nice, like the whole Manila metro area has so many nice districts uh, to explore and even if you would like to live there, the very livable areas here in the Manila metro area. And this is certainly looking like one of them. That is for sure. So just take a look here, guys. I mean, yeah, Eastwood City. Wow, I am really glad I came here. A nice pond here in the middle. Look at this. Look at this idyllic shot of Eastwood City. Can you see why it's called the San Francisco of the Philippines? Or I would say, I would really say California vibe, but yeah. Whatever. We don't have to get lost in the sauce on it. Let's continue our walk here. And I'm sure at night this is just absolutely immaculate and beautiful. And it seems like, uh, do we go in the mall? Yeah, we have to go in that mall. But it seems like maybe there's concert venues or shows here or something. One is maybe getting set up here. Is this the open park? I wonder if this is the open park. I gotta check the map. California Pizza Kitchen. Oh, well, that seems like it's uh a fitting um, addition to Eastwood City. So you got California Kitchen, you got Nathan's Famous New York Original Hot Dogs. I gotta say, I'm not a hot dog guy, but if I do eat a hot dog, it's a Nathan's hot dog. They are by far the best. So, okay, here's Eastwood City. Yeah, let's read this. So Eastwood City, this sculpture is dedicated to the men and women that have found purpose and passion in the business process outsourcing industry. Okay, I guess that's BPO. Their commitment to service in this life is the lifeblood of Eastwood City, the birthplace of BPO in the Philippines. Okay. Philippines' first special economic zone dedicated to information technology. I see, I see. So there's a big IT infrastructure here in Eastwood City. Okay, so that makes total sense now so all right well I'm gonna continue exploring what's in this little open area terrace place but wow I can really see the attraction here to good old Eastwood City my goodness I mean you realize like BGC is spectacular it really is but there are there are many places here in the Metro Manila area that are spectacular and I would say this is one of them. The Power Max Center. Oh my gosh, doesn't this look sick? So it looks like you can literally buy Apple devices here. And it's got a really, it's an authorized reseller. And it's got a really Apple vibe. It looks like an Apple store in there. 
I love Apple stores. <laughs> okay, this is where I got dropped off. Okay, so we did do a big loop. And what I think I will do is I will check out... I, I, I gotta see it, guys. I'm, I'm curious. You know me. I, I like these malls. I gotta check out the mall. Okay? I gotta check out the mall. <laughs> Just look at this. My God. Take a moment here. Huh. This is how I wish... Let me throw out my uh, bottle here. This is how I wish San Francisco looked today. Oh, we got a cat fight there. Literally, I don't know if you see that, but straight cats fighting there. I bet you these are uh, IT companies or something like that. I don't know. They almost look like uh, apartments. I guess the one thing to consider is if you were going to move to Eastwood City, it is a bit far from the airport. Compared to, for example, BGC. But. Alright, well. Let's check this out. Hello, man. Thank you. Oh, wow. Everything here is just so grand, guys. Absolutely grand. Just want to get a shot. I mean, oh, wow! Got all the Christmas lights up, which makes it look really cool. A rare cheese bug. Rare Pokemon. Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. That's a massive Adidas store. Oh, goodness. And there's a bunch of shops down that way. A Subaru? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know. I have not seen a Subaru around Asia, like, very much. Or maybe I'm just unaware. <laughs> I don't know. But Subarus are super nice. Yeah, cross track. Wow. Okay. Cross track eyesight. So. Oh, it's okay. I was just uh, looking. I was actually. Okay, yeah, I was actually looking to see prices. Okay, so about 2 million uh, pesos for that. 2.1 million pesos. Thank you guys. Thank you. What's Have a good day. Uh, What's your Zane, Z A N E Travel. Z A N E. Z as in zebra. Zane Travel. Subaru guys are nice. Gave me a follow. Gave me a, my uh, channel a follow here. So, yeah, about 2.1 million pesos if you want a uh, Subaru to ride around here in the Philippines. Actually, I'm curious to see what 2.1 million pesos is. I think it's uh, 30,000. Maybe. Yeah, it's uh, 37,000. 37,000 uh, USD. If you want to get a Subaru here. I think that's like the cost in America, about. Let's go up one, let's go up one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I think I'm gonna have a drink and some food. Actually, I might explore more than have a drink and some food. Yeah, wow. The travel club, I should start one of those. Huh, this whole YouTube channel is a travel club, right? Okay, look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, whoever did the lights in here, A plus. A plus lights in here. It's absolutely beautiful. Christmas, Christmas spirit in full gear here. I think I saw this from the outside. There's like maybe like a merry-go-round or something over here. Oh, you've got Bon Mi. It's been a minute since I've had a Bon Mi. Love that food. Having been to Vietnam twice. 
Oh, a carousel over here that uh, you can take your children on or whatever. I'm gonna see if I can find this open garden here. Even this mall has like a really cool outside uh, edge, sort of like the Uptown Mall where there are restaurants kind of like that are half outside, half inside. That makes sense. And what do we have down here? Is this where I just was? Yeah, this is where I just was. You can see many people enjoying life right now. Gosh, the Maragumai, Maragume Udon. If you ever have the opportunity to go there, you should absolutely go there. I say it in every video, but it's like 220 or 240 pesos for like a bowl of meat and noodles, which is like $3 or something. Yeah, four maybe, something like that. Okay, you know what? That is the Eastwood Open Park. Okay, so this whole area is the Eastwood Open Park that I've just been walking in. So, okay, we've, we've got that covered. That's something I wanted to see. But let's see what else is around here. And I'm gonna eat. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna have a beer. Because I just finished up 33 days, no alcohol. Had a drink last night. But, um, yeah, 33 days, no alcohol. I like to challenge myself. I'm also in the middle of doing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm also in the middle of doing uh, 30 days no coffee, and that one has been rough, harder than no alcohol. Which actually the no alcohol one is not really that hard. Coffee, much harder. Ooh, see, I wanted to be on that side because I kind of want to see what that area looks like over there. But I think it just says Eastwood City or something. Oh, they have a local war. Oh, this is such a good restaurant. Really good, authentic Filipino food at Local Vore. And I think the prices are, from my, from my perspective, relatively affordable. You know, I think, I'm just looking at like the marketplace right there. It's literally called the marketplace. Local Vore. This reminds me of uh, Forbes Town in uh, BGC. It's almost like maybe the same developer made this area or architected this area in some way. Yeah, this is what this reminds me of. I think there's a uh, Starbucks coming. We can't wait to see you again. Or maybe it's already there, but undergoing renovations. Look at this, super nice mural here. Of course, you've got a Jayco. To my uh, Indonesian followers, I believe it's an Indonesian brand. Or it's, if not, it's popular in Indonesia. Yeah, I can see the allure. I can see the attraction. These with city guys. I think I prefer this city walk. Man, so there's some crazy TGI Fridays here, I have to tell you. It is so funny to me because I don't know if you know this, but if in America, TGI Fridays is not like a super desirable restaurant. But I get it. Hello. How are you? Okay. What? You want to see now the model you need? Here, this one. Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you, sir. This Thank one. you. I don't want to see it, but I am curious. Like, what would a, uh, how much would a one bedroom cost? Around 10 to 11 million. 10 to 11 million? Pesos, yeah. Um, how many square feet? Uh, or, for, sorry, square for, meters? 45. 45, 45 square meters. Okay. You can visit that actual tower if you uh, have time today. That's okay. I don't have time today, but thank you, you very much. Just message me. This is my number. Okay. 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 Can I give this back to you? Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll give this to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. So 10 to 20 or 10 to about 10 million pesos for a 45 square meter um, condo. I've been here before, but uh, yeah, I think that's a reasonable that's a reasonable thing to pay here for what you get. Considering it's like about 20 million, I think it might be about 20 million pesos in BGC, so it's about half the price here. Nah, I think it's reasonable. Let's take a look at the food situation over here. We got all sorts of Western food. So we got the Japanese takoyaki here, cracking, and then also pick up coffee, which is a local spot here in the Philippines. Moss Burger. I have not tried Moss Burger yet. I don't know if that's a Korean or a Japanese brand. Oh, it seems like there's some stuff I have not seen yet over here. 
Maybe I saw it on the way in. It's a massive Yellow Cab Pizza Company. I've actually never eaten that Yellow Cab before. And this is where the Zach's Burger is. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty darn good. I guess this is like the Cyber Mall. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this cilantro restaurant. Phil Mex Cantina. I should get a spot. Please use the other door. I should get a spot overlooking the Eastwood City area. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I almost did ramen nagi as well, because apparently it's really good, but there's too much music playing. Hello. Uh, one, can I sit outside? Hello, how are you? Thank you. Uh, may I sit over here? Thank you, sir. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna escape the music here, but I should have known. All right, so we have burritos, quesadillas, nachos, and some other stuff, paella, and uh, I don't know what Lagua Lan Gewa is, but I'm deciding between burrito and tacos. So Langawa is tongue. It is an actual tongue. So that's not for me. I've not I've not ventured into tongue yet. I've eaten pig's blood in South Korea and chicken feet, but I've not ventured into tongue. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Okay, so we got a beef, we got a chicken, I think. Or no, a beef and a carnitas. So let's give this a shot. Tomatoes, lettuce. Mm. Mm -hmm. All of that in a soft shell taco. I'm losing a lot of it. But that's how tacos go. Hello. So what is this? So no no alcohol. Yeah, there's no alcohol, sir. Okay. So this is pure fig puree with sparkling water, sir. It's pure what? Fig puree, sir. Fruit pure fruits, fruit fruit yes. puree. Oh, yes. okay. So this, I'm gonna water, go with yeah. the green one. Okay. That That's green good. apple, sir. Gin apple. Green apple. Sir. Oh, green apple. Yeah. Okay. No gin. It's very very healthy, sir. There's no preservatives or sugar added. Oh, it is so good. It is so good. Thank this you very much. This is one much. of the seller book. That's uh, your best blueberry. seller? That's blueberry, okay. sir. So Can I also try? Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. And then this is passion fruit. Passion fruit, okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I can see why it's the best seller. Yes. Well, yes. yes. well thank you very much for trying, or um, for letting so me try. Do you have a YouTube channel or something? I do, yes. Oh, it's good. All right, well, I think I've left room for a beer or two. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see what I have going on after this. The problem is music is everywhere. So, guys, they have my favorite beer, San Miguel Lychee, at least one of them. We're gonna go for one. The Lychee. Oh, just how I remember. It has been, the last time I had this was April. So, cheers, guys. Going for the apple, my second favorite. Apple might be my first favorite. I don't know, but good vibe. All right, guys, I thought I would show you what this area looks like at night. So that's where I was just having drinks, but you can see how great it is lit up. And actually I saw pictures of this online. So this is the main town square, or main center that you've seen me show you. And uh, maybe we dip into the open garden here and see what that looks like. I'm sure that's lit up as well. Yeah, this is 
Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure this is also very good. But, uh, yeah, I think they were setting up some sort of like event or something like that here. Oh, just miss, just miss the walk. But, uh, oh, so look. Yeah, you can see the lights there on the um, mall and in the walkway, the city walk. So, what do you think, guys? Would you come here? Would you visit here? Would you live here? This is uh, pretty nice. This has to be one of the coolest places I've been in Kazan. Although I have to say the university was very cool as well. Has a nice like community vibe, I guess is what I, like I don't know, there's like a nice community vibe. It's like clean, comfortable, well laid out, well designed. Yeah, let's take a walk through here and see what the open garden looks like. Or open park, I think is what it's called, open park dogs yeah there is some sort of light show or event going on here wow guys so I don't think I ate enough <laughs> but I might film another video in a minute oh wow not sure how well the thing is the GoPro doesn't do well in low light so it's hard to kind of show this to you right now on the camera but just the way everything is designed here is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I am very impressed with Eastwood City, guys. You should definitely put this on your Manila list. So, problem is, I can't seem to find a pickup spot for my grab, but I'm sure I'll find one. Okay, and yeah, this is just like some sort of light show here. I don't know if they do live music or what it is, but incredible. Got some like popcorn and drinks here. What do you guys think? I think this is pretty incredible. So, thank you so much for being here. Give me your thoughts about Eastwood. It was a highly requested video, so I'm really glad that I came. It lived up to the hype, so thank you for your recommendation. And I will most certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.